you're new here, my name is Louise and this is the weekly haul again. It always seems to be a weekly haul. Uh, seems to be buying food all the time, don't I? Um, okay, so if you like uh, hauls, you like today's video, you like somebody who chats a lot, that's me, um, there's a subscribe button if you fancy clicking that, um, like, comment, share, all that good stuff if you fancy doing any of that stuff. So um, I work on a £50 budget, no, I work on a £60 budget. I hit £50.22, that's why I had 50 in my head, I was trying to remember it. Um, yeah, £60 budget for me and my adult son. Now, I haven't, it doesn't feel like I've got a lot, like quantity-wise, for my money, but I spent 50 quid. It, some of it gets quite pricey and I, I didn't realise <clears throat> one of the items actually came up way more expensive I would have bought if I'd known but I might pop back and see about that maybe get some money back on it we'll see um so I'll explain it all in it as I go along anyway so if you know you've been here you know that I bought all those veggies last week we did the roast dinner um the second haul that you would have seen after Easter I actually bought that on the Friday before Easter I just didn't put it up until then um so you know you'll know we've got lots you know I've got all the, loads of cabbage and i've got potatoes and onions and i'm try, trying to remember from all the different places i still have the green beans in the freezer and i've got lettuce and tomatoes and what else have i got in there some apples i've got a lot lots so i didn't need a lot um of fresh stuff um i was just topping up bits and bobs really um so yeah, £60 budget, like I said, I'll give you prices as we go along. Um, one thing I will say is if you tot it up, you won't get the same total as me. And that's because I always donate three items to the food bank. And I donate it when I'm in the store because otherwise it's just going to sit around the house. I say it all the time because I know what I'm like. I'll just keep forgetting. You know, it'll be one of them. Don't forget, when I go out the door, take that with me and I'll always forget it. So, you know, it just takes too long to get it done. So I just give it over when I'm there. So it's always three sanitary products um, and just three different absorbencies of pads at the moment. That's just what I've been putting in. I just think that's an easier option for people. So, um, you know, there's always plenty of food in the food bank trolley. You know, our town it, it clearly donate pretty well um, because there's always stuff in there. Um, yeah, so that's not there. What else? I feel like the stuff I was supposed to tell you, but I'd me mine's gone blank so you know if i th if i think of it i'll let you know as we go along so let's go on with the whole right like i said didn't need a lot of fresh so just topping up the bits i did need well didn't need strawberries but they smell amazing i did get the la larger one because <sighs> just wanted to uh, why do i always feel like i need a reason let me see strawberries have no clue two pound fifty actually that's not bad for that size um they look pretty decent and they smell really nice. I've said it before, um, just in case you don't know, if you smell the little holes, <laughs> yes, I, I am one of those weirdos that smells my throat, um, and you can smell strawberries, then they're gonna taste really nice. If you don't smell like anything, they're gonna just taste like water. So that's on you, whether you wanna do it or not. Um, but they smell gorgeous. So yeah, £2.50, um, just little snacky foods. Um, trying to go healthier but it's not working but the more I encourage myself hopefully we'll get there at some point some things will click fingers crossed two cucumbers I've been saying it for weeks I keep need need to um, get more cucumbers I've had no cucumbers for three days yes three days it is now Friday I'm recording this I shop on the Thursday but um things are just not um going so well right now I am just about scraping through with everything uh, three days with no cucumbers I'd miss them <laughs> so I got two they're 89p each I'd be grudged doing it but that's only because it's for me if it was for anybody else I wouldn't think twice about it so I need to start you know if I want a cucumber I'm gonna get a cucumber now I bought these double cream they're 51p they're reduced and I've seen that thing where you can make butter with it literally churn it like put it in a whisk or whatever and just keep going and keep going and keep going until it's a solid lump uh get rid of the water actually i'm not going to get rid of the water because i feel like it might be buttercream or something no butter buttermilk i don't know i've got to google it clearly i haven't i just know that if you churn it a lot you get butter then you rinse the butter and then put a little bit of salt in it and apparently it's good to go so i thought we'll give it a go because that's technically a pound 2p um don't know how much it's going to make but we'll give it a go this is purely the reason, the only reason that I picked that up, just to try it. Um, £1.45 for semi-skim milk, four pints, just standard, it's always there. Didn't get any coffee this week, because I don't think I need any. I actually do need to go through my freezer, though. At some point, we will do that, or maybe a live. I don't know. Who knows? Live, it's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Because there's a lot of trolls in there. 
uh, spaghetti loops, two tins just to replace or keep stocked up because honestly my brain's working to the capacity where I don't really remember much of what's going on from day to day possibly have had it a few times but I, I couldn't swear to it 19p a can now these are actually really really nice yes they're the cheapest brand I'm, I, I'm frugal but I'm not going to go frugal on things that are actually rubbish uh, 19p really really nice so you should try them if you've not tried them and you like spaghetti loops 59p for the uh, tuna chunks just got another one to stick in there I keep thinking every day I think about tuna sandwiches and do I make it no but at some point I'm going to make it <laughs> hopefully that's the plan no i don't do plans you know i don't like plans right pickled onions now i actually have no idea i feel like this is 70 something p let me check my receipt 79 cheap cheerful i actually just finished um i pickled onions this week and it was this one and i thoroughly enjoyed them they just did the job um yeah to the point where i actually did drink a little bit of the vinegar it's supposed to be good for cramps I just researched it because I thought, oh, should be drinking vinegar if it's bad for you, and I don't know. So one mouthful is all you need. It's just apparently the reflex in the back of your throat. You see, educational as well. The reflex in the back of your throat is all it needs to apparently relieve cramps in your body. How interesting is that? I don't have cramps, so I don't know if it works, but very interesting piece of useless information for you there. I got some pickled peppers. I've been seeing a lot of those sandwiches and things that they make, um, you know, where they put like the ham and the, the lettuce and tomatoes and all that, and they put it all on a chopping board and just chop it up into small bits. And it made me think of these. Random, again. <laughs> so I got some, because I actually don't know if I have any. I, I've got to look in the freeze, uh, fridge before I decide. We have one of those fridges that has like little nooks and crannies and you find random things in it. £1.75 for that. It's actually not that bad because this does last a long time. I got bacon. Uh, my favourite. Corey always says, when, we haven't had bacon for a couple of weeks now, have we? I don't think. I can't remember, like I said. Um, whenever we bought bacon last, um, Corey kept coming in. He'd come into the kitchen and say, you've had a bacon uh, BLT again. How do you know that? Like, how's he know? He can smell the bacon for a start and there's always a little bit of lettuce and small left over on the side where I chop the rubbish bits off. Ah, absolutely love them. So nice. Uh, we prefer medallions, but the medallions are actually more expensive. So you get 16 slices. Always go for smoked. Three pounds at the moment. Bargain. Another bargain. Didn't need cheese. We've actually got a decent amount in the fridge at the moment. But... You know we like these ones, and I don't get them that often because it's a treat. Um, I don't know, it's just cut, just the perfect width, all that sort of stuff. You know, it's just good. And it was down to £1.17. Now, I was just going to pick up the one until I saw the date. The 11th of the 5th this year, this year so that's like next month. So I've got two of them. Uh, the sour cream and chive and mole salsa. Now, I wasn't going to get any until I saw the price. They're slightly lower. Now, I got the uh, Aldi salsa on fr Friday just gone. So, I've got two of those. They were 89p. This is 81p at the moment. Um, as it's normally £1.15, so I don't know why, but I just picked it up. And this one was 71p, normally £1.15 again. Um that's literally the reason see sometimes if it's stuff that you're gonna eat anyway stuff that you would have on your shopping list and it comes up cheaper it's worth picking up these are both items that we will use uh like i said i do need to go through my cupboards and, and my fridge though to really get a stock of what's going on because i have no clue and this one was pretty good now you know i've been moaning about this past two weeks it went up to one pound 80 this scanned through at 109 now, I do have to say before I go any further, just while I remember, the scan and go wasn't working again, and I did do the uh, app, and there was a mistake on it last time. Somebody said they won't use it because the mistake came up on theirs too, where it's just randomly says you scanned something and bought something that wasn't there. So I thought, no, I'm going to be clever. I'm going to check it as I go along. I'll check the receipt. And I did, but I did find an anomaly, but I'll explain that one in a minute. That's the only reason I, I just thought I'd mention it. £1.9 though feel better about that one uh we just started our last uh, mayo i always get the lighter and like because the calories are ridiculous it's like one calorie for a gram pretty much that's what it works out so it's really really good you know you can have a decent amount of mayo without feeling guilty three pounds it is it is a lot more expensive than getting the cheap version but it's actually really nice as well um but three pounds is a really good price for that one 
I got two pot noodles because it was 65p. I can't remember the last time I saw them for 65p. I always check the pot noodles just as I walk past. 70p is the cheaper it's been, it's cheapest it's been for a while, but they were 65, so I just picked up two to go in the cupboard purely because they were 65p. I got a sweet and sour and a chicken and mushroom. If they're 65p next week, I'll get two hopefully different flavours. Depends if I remember which flavours I bought this week. Uh, no on breads, I just feel like there's none in the freezer and I just like to have them there. We don't have curries and stuff that often. Uh, these actually make really good bases for pizzas as well, I should say. Um, and this was a pound for the mini ones. Uh, was going to get wraps because I checked in the freezer and didn't have any wraps. Actually, do you know what? I've just, literally, as I'm saying this now, I bought those packets, didn't I? The um, Mexican box with the salsa and the wraps and everything. <sighs> I thought I needed wraps. I don't need wraps, but I've got them now anyway, just so you know. <laughs> These are 70p at the moment for six. Suitable for vegans, didn't even notice that. Um, and normally I would get eight for £1.10, so it's a couple of pennies per, per wrap cheaper. Yes, I did math that one out on my way home. Um, <laughs> uh, kept my brain going. So 70p, and they're char grilled. And I've never tried char grilled, and at the time I thought I needed wraps, but now I just remembered I don't. Uh, loaf of bread, 75p, your basic one. Oh, let's talk about the gap. So the gap is actually Corey's Coke. Like I said, I did shop yesterday and he's taking upstairs with him. So they right that where that gap would be, would be a proper Coke, like Coca-Cola Coke. Uh, it's £2.39 at the moment, uh, but he's taking upstairs. So loaf of bread, yes, it's got a little bit missing off the end because I had toast for breakfast this morning when I got back from work. At 75p, just your basic loaf. And the charge... Energy drinks are still 45p, so again, I got another lot. Um, this, so normally I would just buy an eight pack that's in a pack, so it's easy to transport and stuff. Uh, two is £3.75 for that normally, so it works at 15p saving getting this, but you can't buy this in the eight pack, they only do this single normally. And Corey enjoys these a lot more, which is good. Um, so whilst they're that price, I will pick them up every week. Once they go up, he'll be back on the other ones. Uh, I did ask Corey to sh for a shopping list I do every week, um, just in case there's bits that he fancies that I wouldn't know about. He put digestives, but I think he put normal ones, or some word on it, I had to guess. So I just went with these. I'm hoping that's what he wanted. It wasn't the plain ones, because he didn't use the word plain. I don't know. 85p for these ones. Anyway, uh, tortilla chips. I got just the ready salted and the garlic and tomato. If you've not had these, they're very, very nice. These are a pound and these are 51p. No particular reason, just pick them up. Again, and <laughs> a lot of this is price um, <laughs> that dictated this shop. Uh, Del Monte, it says it's new. Cloudy Lemonade, that would be the lolly I would go for. It's down 61p. I'm feeling like Del Monte would be really expensive normally. I, I just, oh, there is nothing about this packaging I do not like. And again, I'm just so excited. I just want a bit of sun. I'm going to have so many lollies and treats. <laughs> and look, 61 calories, fat free. What? Why wouldn't you? 61p. That's the only reason I got that. Now, this is the anomaly. I, I don't even know if that's the right word, but it makes me feel uh, clever. Um, this should be £1.35. Uh, actually, had these last week, I think I bought them last week, week before, whenever it was. I had it last week. Oh my, so, so nice. So nice. Um, yeah, uh, that's why I, I hadn't realised until I was making sure I got everything on my shopping list and got it all out. This should have been £1.35. It said it was £1.35 on the shelf. And I'm sure when I scanned it, it did too. But I checked the receipt and it actually says £2.65. So I'm going to take them back, but not these back. I'm going to take the receipt back and see if I can get the money back on it. I'll check the the um, the shelf as well because I'm sure that's wrong because I bought them for the 135 the other week. So that was the only issue with the receipt. But I was very very vigilant with it this time. If you don't, if you use a scan and go and they don't have it, and you can put, use your app, but you have to be so so careful with it. And I even closed the screen off between scanning everything. Um, but he still got me the one. <laughs> Um, I fancy spaghetti bolognese. I feel like somebody mentioned it in a live. Um, I'm not a fan of mints at all. There is nothing I like about mints. Um, so I wouldn't really enjoy bolognese with room mints. So I just picked up the... Uh, this This is actually the Azza's own brand. And I don't know if I've tried their mints. Possibly have, but I don't know. 
and this was two pounds i did look at all like the corn and because i know i've had corn before and that's pretty good um they had a linda mccartney but this one worked out the cheapest like weight money ratio and i got these again before you did ask for chicken strips they didn't have the other one i've mentioned before that you, this isn't the best value for your money there is a 1.127 kilogram that's 550 this is a kilogram and it's six pounds um but this it's what Corey did like this one anyway um and they didn't have the other one so i just went with this and six pounds that one was i got oh got these chips now i did mention it because i did get a question i'm sure it was glenda but get, don't come at me if i get it wrong but i feel like glenda was the one who asked about the chips that i bought from poundland the other week that were two pounds but it was there was more weight in that Corey said no don't get them he said that the chips are way small like shorter than they should be in the flat so they like just go like hard crunchy and they're not enjoyable at all so just thought i'd mention it so these are actually two pound 45 for a 1.5 kilogram he's had these plenty of times so we know they're good and i just got some toilet roll because I felt it was about time to get it because I don't want to get low. And this is £2.35. So I hope you enjoyed today's haul. Um, it was, it feels like it wasn't a, it wasn't an, not necessary is the wrong word in. I don't know. It's just a, it was a little bit different. <laughs> I don't know why it always feels a little bit different. Uh, yeah, got a few little meal ideas, bits for the future, like the lollies. I'm going to have so many lollies. I, I hope I'm really into lollies this summer because I'm going to have so many. Um, oh, and I did get another comment as well about the magnets I bought the other week. Apparently there was a recall on them. I did check and my batch code, we're good. So I didn't have to take those back. But thank you for letting me know because those sort of things I wouldn't know because I don't really look in the like, media and... I just read a headline that comes up on my Google thing on your phone, you know, like I read the headline and that's it. So that's as much as I know that's going on in the world, really. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for the uh, comment about that. I did check it, but we're good. Uh, I don't know why. I feel like there's something I need to say, but there isn't. So I've got to get on with trying to make this butter. Fingers crossed for me. I've never made homemade butter. Um, and I'm gonna Google what to do with the juice because I feel like it's buttermilk, but I might be wrong. Then I just need to know if I can freeze it because that would be good for buttermilk biscuits for Scott. Trying to use it every, all these bits up now. Um, okay, so if you've got this far, well done you. I am so proud of you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got more staying power than I do. Um, I will be doing a live Sunday morning, so that'll be tomorrow morning for you. Um, it will be 7 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time because it sort of works for me that way. I end up staying on for about four hours. Last week was, I think it worked out as six hours in the end because we did the roast dinner, so I just, you know, we was in the kitchen anyway. Why not leave it on? Um, even though actually thinking about it, I didn't do much of that roast dinner, did I? I think Scott took over most of that. That's because he doesn't like my cooking as much as he likes his own, see? Everyone's saying, oh, he looks after you. He likes his cooking better than mine. That's what it is. Certainly left me with enough washing up, I tell you. Um, so, yeah, if you fancy popping along and having a chat, that would be awesome. Um, so, that's it. I'm going to go now. I hope you're having a lovely day. I um, hope the weather's treating us better this weekend. I don't think it's supposed to. I'm sending out good vibes as I always do. I hope you're catching some, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.